Hello friends, it's been a while since we did the last Maimonides Mitzvah moment, but I'm here with, uh, with Alden, and this is a perfect opportunity to get back into things. So, um, the mitzvahs today pertain to truma. Truma was an agricultural uh, gift that Jewish farmers living in the land of Israel would need to give gift to Kohanim, the priests, uh, from their produce. Uh, this is an obligation on every Jewish farmer. Um, and then what happens with this special gift of truma to the coin is, uh, is governed by uh, a number of mitzvahs, the first of which is? The first mitzvah is the prohibition of uh, partaking from any part of the truma if you are not a Kohen. It was Correct. A Correct. Only. So only, only a Kohen is allowed to consume this truma. So if a Kohen gets a nice gift basket of truma and then wants to share it with uh, his non-Kohen neighbor, ain't that happening. is ain't happening. It's very, very serious transgression for a non-Kohen to partake of truma. And, fun, and then the, the, the final mitzvah of the day. The mitzvah takes it a step further and says he not only can uh, he not share it, he cannot even share it with his servants. Correct. Oh. Which is a big deal because... You may not know that a Kohen is actually... Well, what do you think? Can a Kohen serve Truma to his pet? No. He can. Yes. Yes. Because his animal is his property. Yes. But to the, uh, 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 to the servant, that's not his property. And therefore, he may not share Truma with his servant. And Giddy, you look dumbfounded. No, you look amazed. This is very pet, this mitzvah is very pet friendly. Yes, it's this amazing. Is animals' rights. Oh, Gavalt. 